All right, so I wanted to do this real short video on the Dokio 200 watt solar panel. Couldn't find too many videos on it on YouTube. It's gonna be short because I just took it out of the box and I'll just show you what I got here. So in the front pouch here, we got the charge controller and some cabling so you can hook it up to a battery. So you got your cord with your alligator clips and the charge controller that the solar panels would charge into. From the reviews that I read on, it read from Amazon, this can just pretty much go into the trash. So I won't be using this anyway. I'll be using the MPP charge controller that's built into my trailer, or not built into it, that I installed into it. So we'll get that stuff out of the way. It's the Velcros together, nice handles. It's pretty small and compact. And then opens up. So you can spread it this way. I don't know how much of it's going to be in view. up here and get the whole view of it. So when it's all opened up like that, that's maybe like six feet long ish. I don't know about the power output yet because it's dark. It's nine o'clock, so. And then we got that cord coming out the back, but you can pull it up to the side too. That's how you hook it up. So I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping that this is going to do what I want. I wanted to get this because uh, when I park my trailer in the campsite, it's shaded, so I like to run the solar panels out to where the sun is. And I bought original the, the first at first I bought uh, four 100 pot watt Renogy panels, and thinking that I can take them off the roof, the roof of the trailer and then I can run them out with an extension cord and and that would be easy to do. And those 100 watt panels are a lot bigger and heavier and more cumbersome than I originally thought. So the plan is just to leave those there and then I can get some others. So I, I got this one and then I got a Renogy flexible panel. It's like an E, uh, I, said, I think it's a ETFE panel that I'm also going to try. But based on my initial looks and initial impressions, I think I just might uh, get myself another one of these because this is this is super portable, and obviously it's not gonna, it meant to be left in the sun all the time because I could see that this would deteriorate very quickly, especially in the Arizona sun that we got. There was another reviewer that said that it was already fading and deteriorating, but I don't know how long he's leaving it out in the sun, so I only will be using it for a few days at a time when I go camping, so once I uh, get it out in the sun and get it tested and stuff like that, then uh, I'll make another video. I feel a lot of bumps and stuff like that in here, so I don't know if there's stuff inside here or what, but... All right, catch you later.